get it going. You stop me. You stop me. It's fine. Oh, no, damn it. Mr. Douglas Peterson? Yeah? Did you know an Edward E. Matthews? <coughs> From James and Alan. I'm sorry, sir. Reschedule the press conference for tomorrow at three o'clock. All I can do is run it by the minister, I suppose. See what he says. You know, I don't really think he'll like it, but we can try. This is the last thing that you're going to want to hear after everything you've been through, but something bad has happened. What is it, man? Ed Matthews, um, I, I just found out um, he's dead. Just tell me. Dougie, no! No, sorry, man, I was expecting another call. Yep. But no, yeah, 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 I'm here, I'm here. Um, when is it? All right, yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I'll be there. Before it's too late, listen to your heart. Your heart. Hello, Ian. I got your message. I called as soon as I could. That's very sad. Yeah, that's where the service is being held. Now, can you make it? Okay. I'll see you there tomorrow. I'll see you there. Just one more time. I think we've got this. Just a bit more on that shot. I told Doug you can't miss the caucus meeting for some funeral. I mean, the whole pre service depends on. I want to be at the funeral. Everywhere, Ty. <laughs> How about that traffic, eh? Had a funeral full of road rage. How's that? You remember Ian Mooney? Yeah, Ian. Yeah, g'day. You haven't changed a bit. No, I don't think so. I just catching up with you. <coughs> so, shall we? Good morning. I understand some old pupils of Edward Matthews are here today. Douglas Peterson will now say a few words on behalf of those men. All mankind is of one author and is one volume. When one person dies, one chapter is not torn out of the book, but translated into a better language. In 1986, when Ed Matthews used those words in an essay topic, they meant little or nothing to us. We were schoolboys. Football, cricket, swimming, and girls. These were important to us. Not the words of some long dead poet, and certainly not the man who gave them to us. 
But now, all these years later, we realise the value in, in having had Ed Matthews as a teacher, as a mentor and as a friend. He changed the lives of all of us, not suddenly and radically, but gradually and substantially. His was a long-term, unforgettable influence, that of a true friend. And uh, today, with him in this place, I'd like to quote something from the Bible. Greater love hath no man than this, that he should lay down his life for the life of a friend. And in a way, that's what Ed Matthews did for us. And that's why we should never forget him. Thank you. You okay? Yeah. Champion effort, Dougie. The MC at my funeral. Pleasure to bury him, Michael. <laughs> Listen, what was that extra bit about him dying for his friends? We didn't need that, did we? Had to be said, Mike. God, I hate funerals. Yeah, especially this one. Let's go to the pub. There's got to be one around here somewhere. Oh, I'd love to. I can't, though. I've got to go do the inventory. Take Doug and I a couple of hours in the house. Your executor. But he didn't have any family? Apparently not. Poor bastard. Well, we'll come and help you, Doug. What do we have to do, Ian? Uh, no, it's probably best if Doug and I do it. That's a good idea. We'll have a wake. Andy and I will go get the piss. Can't stand all this misery. Come on.